Hello, you two. I got a few things from eBay today. And we're in, and these in speci specifically are for the Dell Inspiron 6000. I got a brand new keyboard. Look at that. Absolutely spectacular. With the ribbon cable there already and everything. Ah, beautiful. So we have that. <clears throat> and I got a CPU. Let me show you what CPU it is. Came in nicely wrapped in this foam here. It is a Socket M CPU, I believe. It is a Pentium M. I don't know if you can see the lettering there, but it's a Pentium M770, which is a 2.13 gigahertz model with 2 megs of cache and 533 front side bus. Much better than the 1.6 gigahertz one that's in there. However, the 1.6 gigahertz one is still pr a pretty nice processor. So we're going to put these into the Dell Inspiron 6000 over there. And we'll have to see how they look once they're done. And then I'll give you a tour of the machine once it's all, you know, <clears throat> put together and stuff. Okay, I've got the laptop apart. There's the uh, top cover, so if this bothers me too much, I can replace this whole top thing, including the trackpad. I can just buy a new part on eBay. Here's the keyboard I took out of it, which has this little connector on it, which I need to figure out how to get off. It uses uh, these little gray clips here. Come on, focus. It uses those little gray clips to hold it on. I don't know how to get that off, but I'm going to try. So, there you have it. Okay. So, here's the inside and you can I can I can see some flaws with this design already. Like for example, having a plastic bottom of a laptop is just a, a stupid design because you have little plastic mounts like this that break. That mount originally went right there. It's going to have to go back there, so I'm going to put it there. So, and the speaker goes on top of that. And then, you know, just like that. Those mounts break very easily. And that's just a stupid design idea on Dell's part. But the rest of it looks pretty good. It's got a decently sized fan here. The uh, heat piping looks really good. This is the GPU right here. This, this is serious. They actually use star screws on the GPU, which is weird. Hynix apparently made the heatsink. <laughs> There's the CPU heatsink right there. You can actually see what processor's in here without even taking it off. It is a Pentium M 1.6. It's a Pentium M 1.6 2 megabytes. Oh, it's a 400 mega. It's a 400 megahertz bus speed. Crap. That could be a problem. Oh well, we'll have to figure it out. Okay, we have the heatsink off of the processor, so now I can clearly see it. As soon as my damn shadow gets out of the way. That's what's in there. Uh, I believe that the. The RAM this thing can support can go up to uh, 533 megahertz RAM, so I'm assuming that the processor, at least the chipset supports the same with the processor, so we'll have to find out. So I'll stick the new processor in and we'll see. I just had a quite a close shave with the keyboard. I, I decided before doing the CPU I'd get this keyboard connector taken care of, and uh, I can't see what I'm doing. This keyboard connector here uh, it uses a little gray clip here to hold it in, if you can see that right. And uh, I broke it pulling it out, so I had to go downstairs and get some crazy glue and glue that back together, but it glued perfectly. So now I got, I really saved myself from to buy another keyboard uh, connector there. That's, that was a close one. So thank God for that. Thank God for small favors, huh? And this is the brand new keyboard too, so we're good. The old keyboard, 
uh, I had been told that milk had been spilled on it, and there is definitely evidence of that right there. <laughs> right there. There's also some in the PCMCIA slot on the motherboard that I, that I can show you. Come on. Right down there, there's some milk in there. I'll have to clean that off with some Q-tips and some Fantastic or something. Either way, it doesn't look severe. I can clean that off pretty easily. So I'll get the CPU all taken care of, and then we'll come back again. Yes, this new keyboard is glorious. It looks beautiful on this thing. Absolutely spectacular, and it feels awesome. One of the keyboard screws is missing though, so I need to order one of those. Luckily, Dell, Dell's documentation is very good, so it tells me exactly what size screw I need. So, the processor's been changed, the new keyboard's been installed. Let's uh, turn on and see how it is. Okay. So, let's turn this on and see if it likes the processor at all. Ignore that fan noise, that's the laptop cooler below it, and it's nice, just wonderful sounding fans. <laughs> Let me turn those off, because that's obnoxious. All right. Try enter setup. All right. Very nice. It does see the correct processor in there. It sees the uh, Pentium M, 2.13 gigahertz. Minimum clock speed is 800 megahertz, so with speed stepping, it could go down to 800, which is insane. It does not have hyper threading because it's a Pentium M. So let's start this up. I can show you what I've done with this machine in the meantime as well. I've changed it a little bit since uh, we last looked at it. Let me uh, angle that better. That's nice. That's much nicer. All right. Well, what I've done is I've put the 80 gig drive in, and I put Windows 7 on it, as you can see. And the funny thing about Windows 7 on here is that there is a native driver for the video for Windows 7, but it's crap. I used the XP driver, and although Arrow doesn't work, the performance is that much better. It appears to be much faster already, actually. Keyboard feels a lot nicer now. That's better. There we go, we're at a desktop. It installed the processor successfully right down there. Very nice. It's probably going to ask me to restart now. <laughs> so let's check the specs of this machine. Yeah, it's asking me to restart. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Sweet. Oh, yeah. 2.13 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM. Excellent, absolutely excellent. So this laptop is much more capable than that EPC I had will ever be. Netbooks are, the early netbooks just don't, aren't really just, they're built well, but they're just slow. The later, the current netbooks are a lot better, and even these older Penny M systems are a lot better, because uh, you can just do a lot more with them. You can change the damn processor in them. That's what I like the most about them. Um, this machine is a lot more capable than I thought it would be. Um, I tried running uh, with the Windows XP driver on Windows 7 here. I tried uh, a few graphics tests. I tried mine. I use typically to test out a graphics card. I use OpenGL based programs that seem to, you know, really need graphics power. The two programs I use are Minecraft and Second Life. Second Life is an OpenGL whore. It really needs its OpenGL and graphics power to work well. And Second Life runs at about 10 to 12 frames per second, which I was really surprised by. It runs very, very, and that's with particles turned off and the graphics all the way down, and draw distance set to like 64. 
and things like that. And then I tried Minecraft. Minecraft does not like the graphics driver, I don't think, because it, although it actually plays pretty well, it crashes right after uh, using it, or right after launching it, so I don't use it on here. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the performance of this machine, and I bet the 2.13 gigahertz will be a welcome, welcome upgrade. It seems to be already, so... It's very, very fast. That thing wants me to restart, so I'll just shut it off. But yes, that was just a upgrade. That was just a little bit of an upgrade to this laptop and a new keyboard and everything. And it's a nice laptop now. Although I uh, lost a screw when taking them off the bottom, so I got to find that screw or buy a new one or something. I really like this machine so far. I really do. It's one hell of a computer. These old Dells, although I don't like the design. For example, the fact that the bottom is a plastic base means that the mounts break, which you saw earlier in the video, but what can you do? De the Dell's engineering of these laptops was not the most, that wasn't the smartest in the world back in those days. But, hey, what can you do? The display is beautiful. The, uh, the keyboard is now beautiful. I could put a new, uh, I could put a new palm rest on it, but I don't, just don't see the point right now because the trackpad still works. Uh, but other than that, one hell of a laptop. I'm pretty happy with it. Cosmetically, it's not the greatest, but functionality-wise, it's a workhorse. So, that's it for this laptop. And that's the upgrades to it. The funny part is, um, the processor I put in there was a Pentium M770. If you look on eBay for a Pentium M780, just the model above it, it costs an exorbitant amount of money. It costs... But I've seen some for like eighty dollars. I've seen some for one hundred and twenty, one hundred and thirty. Whereas this two point thirteen gigahertz processor, this Pentium M here, was about twelve dollars. So yeah, I'd rather pay the twelve dollars for a faster processor than pay one hundred and thirty dollars for an old used processor. That's just a little bit faster than this one. So that's why I didn't go with the higher model processor than that. If you were if you guys were wondering. Okay, so this is Second Life's frames per second after the processor upgrade. Before it was like 10 to 12. Now it's going up to like from 20 to between like 20 and 25. So that that shows how much of a bottleneck that 1.6 gigahertz processor really was on this system, especially with graphics processing. That's that's insanely awesome. I'm very happy with this upgrade now. That was well worth it just because you can see that alone it improved graphics performance because was just a bottleneck. So that's awesome. That's really awesome. Other than that, that's been some upgrades and just what I've done with this laptop so far. Um, other than that, have a good one everybody. Ciao.